So we are currently sitting on a bus and headed to Western Nepal, leaving Kathmandu. We have actually no idea how long it's gonna take. Maybe 16 hours, maybe 24 hours. And that's kind of the thing about riding long distance buses is they give you a window on how long it's gonna take. The one thing I'm a little concerned about is it's been raining all day today and Bus accidents are a common thing here in Nepal. Every week you read about another bus that drove off a cliff where 17, 18, 24 people died. So I'm hoping that uh, it's a safe bus ride in the rain for possibly 20 hours. I have no idea. Fingers crossed. Well, I'll just get off the bus, 20 hour bus ride. And uh, the one thing you don't want to deal with after a 20 hour bus ride is this common scam. This guy tried to drop us off like 10 kilometers away before our destination. So even though we had tickets to go to Thukdwara, which is right at the entrance to Bardia National Park here, he tried to drop us further back and then give us 200 rupees to pay for a tuk-tuk, but the tuk-tuk cost 500. And this is the second time that we've seen this scam in Nepal. Uh, the other time was when we were in Eastern Nepal going to um, Kanchenjunga Trek, but we had a guide with us, so he paid, he worked at, Namaste, how you doing, buddy? So. Our guide worked it out with the bus guy and he paid the Jeep guy. What's, what's up, what's up, what's up? Namaste, namaste. What is your name? What is your name? guy. nice to meet you. Jesse, Jesse. So, common bus scam. Anyway, the guide worked it out with the bus on the way to Kanchenjunga where he paid the Jeep guy to take us to our final destination. But apparently it's common where you can get a you can get a bus ticket and then the bus will not take you all the way there even though you've paid to go to that final destination. You know, you're 20 hours away from Kathmandu where you bought the ticket and you really have no leg to stand on. Really what saved us in this instance was there was another couple, it was just the four of us. It was me and Sam and another couple going to Thukdwara and this guy didn't want to take us there. I don't know whether he's pocketing the gas money or or what he's doing, but watch out for that scam. Stand your ground and make sure if they're gonna give you money for, for like a tuk-tuk or a Jeep, make sure they go with you to the tuk-tuk or Jeep so that that's the right amount. Because when they get, tried to give us 200, we took it to the tuk-tuk, he said no 500. So we were demanding 500 from the bus driver, but then he was like, okay, I'm not gonna give you 500, but I'll take you to Thukdwara. So then, and now our guest house picked up Sam on a motorbike. And so now I'm walking because they only have one motorbike. And here we are in Thukdwara. We were here five years ago. And uh, it's actually much more developed than it was five years ago. This road was not paved before. Namaste. And uh, yeah, so I think a lot more tourism is coming out here. One of the benefits of coming to Bardia over something like Chitwan. Chitwan is a national park that has tigers and wildlife. It's closer to Kathmandu. This one gets less tourism, so there's less people to scare the wildlife away. So hopefully you're gonna see some tigers and rhinos. Infamous.